Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jerry Fizzy, I don't know. Ugh, can't talk, as usual. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, yeah, okay, everything's working. Uh, this is a new, hopefully, series that I'm gonna be doing. Uh, basically, it's just gonna be talking about, well, whatever I want to. Uh, right now, I'm gonna be talking about something I hate about gaming, and I might continue with this topic for a little bit. But, um... I guess we could have like topics and then subtopics, and then like the topic of this would be uh, things I hate about gaming, I guess, and then uh, the subtopic is microtransactions slash pay to win uh, games, and then um, I have some Trials Fusion uh, gameplay in the background, and uh, whenever I recorded this, I had been playing for a really long time, and I was in kind of a uh, rage mode <laughs> so I wasn't really trying I, I I was trying but like I don't know you if you play the game you, you'll you'll know what I mean especially on the harder levels but um anyway uh, I'll just let that keep going in the background and um <clears throat> I will get on with the topics anyway so um I want to talk about microtransactions and how, in my opinion, they completely ruin the experience of a game, especially like a free-to-play game, and even a pay-to-win, or a pay-to-play game like uh, RuneScape or something like that. Um, if you didn't know, one of the huge reasons I quit RuneScape was just all the microtransactions, and uh, especially the bonds update. But, um, and also it just got kind of boring, but, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, um... Where should we start? Uh, okay, I guess we'll go ahead and I'll give a couple examples of games that have been ruined by microtransactions and a couple that could be ruined and stuff like that. So um, I guess I'll start off and talk about mobile games, um, particularly games like, um, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Clash of Clans, oh my gosh, um, <clears throat> there's so much, uh, time and money people are putting into that game, and it's like, really? <laughs> I mean, you could just make it a pay game and that'd be alright, but like, the pay to win thing is really stupid because it makes it to where other people can have advantages over you just because they have, of their, um, IRL status, and in my opinion that's stupid. And, um, uh, I had a very, a couple of really good examples in a video I made about RuneScape, about, uh, like a few months back, where I talked about, um, where I could go and grind out something on RuneScape and make this much, and someone else who, uh, is working at their job and decides to actually spend their job money could just go and buy all that. And, um, before it wasn't, obviously it was against the rules and that was one thing and they should have been banned for it but now it isn't in RuneScape because they added the bonds update although um, in my opinion the bonds are completely useless because I mean if you're gonna buy money you might as well just do it on a other website because it's a lot cheaper but hey uh, I guess if you want to follow the rules even though you're doing something incredibly stupid then you might as well if, if that's how you wanna justify buying money then go ahead but um, uh, if, if you guys have like if you guys do play games with microtransactions tell me what you guys think about it like do you hate it as much as I do <laughs> probably not I mean anyway um I'll finally finish that level in trials <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm so good at that game Anyway, um, what was I saying? Okay, another game, Forza, the whole Forza series. Now, I don't play on console, but, um, I've seen things about Forza, and <laughs> it seems quite, uh, quite bad. Um, I don't know the details, but basically, like, all the car upgrades and stuff like that, and maybe, like, I don't know, customization for your car all costs money, and, um, that's a $60 game on console. It's like you pay sixty dollars and then you pay even more, and there's lots of things like that on console, which is why a reason I don't play on it. You know, all these Call of Duty like 
dog DLCs and stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not going to talk about Call of Duty now. But anyway, uh, let's see, another example. Uh, trying to bring one to mind here. Uh, what was that game called? Um, well, there's H1Z1, which is a hardcore survival game that's coming out on PC. Um, it's obviously a game I'd be interested in because that's kind of one of the types of games I've been playing recently, something like DayZ. But the thing is, it's a free-to-play game, and the way they're going to be supporting it is by microtransactions. And in some of these games, it's not quite as bad because... I don't know. Anyway, uh, like in Forza, I don't, I don't know if Forza has multiplayer, but if it does, it's probably not the biggest part of the game. But at the same time, it's just the developers trying to make even more money off something. And in many cases, like oh, we'll go ahead and bring back Call of Duty, they're just recycling content and they're just making more and more money. But anyway, uh, besides that, oh, just finish another level. Very nice. She got silver there. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, what else? What other games did I have? Um, I can't remember. There's a couple more that I had to talk about. Uh, let me go look at my Chrome real quick, and I will come back to you guys in a moment. Alright guys, well I did find a couple more examples, but I decided I'm not even going to talk about those right now because I don't have a lot more time of uh, recorded trials gameplay here, and I don't want to go back and reach some more after I record some more. But anyway, um, <laughs> basically uh, the point I wanted to make with this video is, uh, you know, microtransactions are bad, they're kind of, they're ruining a lot of good games, or would be good games. And, um, you know, a lot, like, okay, we'll go ahead and talk about RuneScape again. Like, you know, it's ruined it for a lot of people, and in a game like that, oh yeah, I remember the other game I really wanted to talk about, uh, yes, so, I'll go ahead and talk about this, I got a little bit of time. Anyway, um, The Elder Scrolls Online, it was really, everyone thought it was going to be awesome, everyone's like, Skyrim multiplayer, it's going to be so cool, and then... Everyone's like, oh, it's a $60 game, and it has a $15 monthly cost, and if you're on a console, you got to pay for Xbox Live or whatever the heck PlayStation is called, and there's microtransactions. I don't know if it's just cosmetic or whatever, but you can probably buy in-game gold as well, even if it's not official, and... <clears throat> I mean, there's one thing if it's not official, but if it's official, it's really bad. Like, if there's a way to buy money that's not against the rules, it's just like, how far and how far down has the um, gaming community gone now, you know? I mean, it's getting kind of bad. <laughs> and, you know, there's there's still a lot of games out there who are staying away from microtransactions and probably won't introduce them. And I understand how in a free-to-play game, um, it's perfectly, quote-unquote, acceptable to uh, to have microtransactions because you know, obviously there's got to be some way to support the developer, and it's optional. But in a lot of games, it's really not optional if you want to have a actual fun experience. I guess you could say. Uh, me and my friends played a game called Vindictus, and it was really awesome, but all the actual cool stuff that you could get was uh, with microtransactions, and it was a free-to-play game. I actually liked the way they did it, but at the same time, they could have at least made it to where some cool stuff was that way, but at least it's better that way, you know what I mean? And, you know... In most cases, I'd prefer a game to just be, you know, a certain amount, and then just have everyone has the uh, exact same experience in the game. Because uh, I think just making it, I guess you can use the word fair for everyone, seems like the best option, because either way, most people are going to end up buying it. Uh, spending money on the game anyway, and in some cases, 
a lot of people are going to be spending even more. And, okay, actually, I guess it's too far to say that most people would. A lot of people do. And there's, I guess there's a lot of people who don't as well. I don't. Uh, can I think of a game where I've paid for microtransactions? Uh, not really, unless you count buying gold membership on RuneScape and then getting... Nah, I'm not going to count that, because I bought that for the membership. Anyway, <laughs> um, <clears throat> what else? Um, oh, I remember this. I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple things on my channel. I think I'm pretty much done with this, uh, topic. Uh, <clears throat> I want to hopefully continue this series if you guys like it. Um... I guess I'll say if it gets a decent amount of views, I'll just go ahead and... I guess this is the pilot episode. If it does if it does well, then I will continue the series. I don't know if they'll all be about specifically gaming or whatever, but um, I'm sure a lot of them will be. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, um, <laughs> I've been so lazy like the past couple weeks. Uh, I really haven't even been that busy. I've just been uh, watching live streams and stuff like that. Um, uh, just playing video games, I guess, <laughs> and, you know, I've meant to record a lot of it, but I really haven't, uh, I've played an okay amount of DayZ, and I have some footage recorded for my standalone episode, but I'm not finished with that yet, I'm definitely gonna have that out sometime by the end of this week, and, uh, there's, uh, for Epoch on DayZ, uh, the server we were playing on shut down, which I, we were kind of thought might happen, but anyway, we were about to join a new server anyway, or, you know, anyway, um, that's a lot of anyways right there, isn't it? Um, there's, an, there's a new mod out for Daisy Mod, and it's uh, Epoch and, or, and uh, Overwatch Mix, and I think we might try that out, I don't know. If we do, I'll definitely record it and uh, see how that goes. Anyway, guys, um, what else do I have to talk about? Uh, if you guys have any games that you want to see me play, uh, go ahead and suggest them. Uh, when Watch Dogs comes out, I'll probably post some gameplay of it. Uh, I don't think I want to do like a whole series or anything of that, but because it's probably a pretty long game, and with how the Metro series went, it was kind of cool at the start, and then. You know, I got bored of it. It was probably partly because I had already played it, but it's a lot of work to record that much and, you know, not get that much footage and editing and stuff and then not get that many views on it, you know, and uh, not even enjoy it that much myself because I've already played through the game a lot. I mean, it's still a really fun game, but I'd rather be playing something else, if that makes sense. Uh, I'd love to play more games like this, almost like, not indie games. Well, I guess this... Nah, I wouldn't consider this an indie game, but, um, you know, just games like this where I can talk about stuff. Um, in this series, I'm not just going to be playing Trials. I'll probably try to do a different game every, every, uh, episode. Anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much the end of my Trials footage right there. So, um, I guess I will go ahead and wrap up the video. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.